Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Drillic and we're doing PvP. So today, he's back. This is the sniper, the sniper I have previously rudely disregarded and you know put away to 3.0, explained my reason for that in a video you can watch right here. Now the thing is, um, I'm playing engineer right now, the least viable spec of them all. Um, but I'm still trying to make this one work. Also, there has been a bit of controversy on my last lethality operative video, so maybe we have to be careful not to offend everyone and hurt anyone's feelings. So, you know, if I make any remarks about the spec being bad, you know, don't, uh, you know, take them too seriously because I, I, you know, the least thing I want is your feelings being hurt. Now, that being said, of course, you know, diffused all of that controversy, that potential controversy. Um, you know, the game commences right here. Now we have the operative right there, and uh, he of course, you know, gets uh, horribly low right there with a nice combo, but of course he's got the Dodgerino, the evasion, and does survive because, you know, this class is just generally OP. Now the defense is going quite well now, of course he tries to open up on me, but that uh, is of no avail. Nice uh, stun comes in, 10k explosive probe, and that is the end of him. Now the sorcerer over here thinks it's a good idea to attack me, I of course deny him because I do not want to die, believe it or not. I think that is something very commonly said in my videos. Um, you know, refusal to die always results in, you know, high levels of play. Now this is of course very funny right here because I do leg shot him for the root and now of course he gets kicked away and he gets denied that half relic. Oh, it's such a bad day to be you, isn't it? Okay, now... Uh, again, second round of the Thorthrow, he again thinks he does deal damage, but unfortunately he does not. Um, he plays, also he plays Madness, um, you shouldn't do that, because it generally doesn't deal damage. Um, single target, now of course they try to tap that, but I'm like, no, not gonna have any of that. Nice probe coming in, of course, again, disabling the Marauder right here, he's just, you know, in a nice blind, it's the 8 second timeout for you. It's a 3v6, I believe, right here. So I'm just defensively rolling over here. Now he, of course, you know, wants to get the better of me, but I'm like, no, you're not going to deny me. And got that one. So broke that stun immediately and got the uh, nade right there so he doesn't get that. Good, you know, quite frankly, I'm not going to get denied. You know, I'm... I am the big denier, I do not get denied. Now, here it's a 2v1 or better 3v1 and that wasn't 2v1 anytime soon, but I did delay them through using all of my cooldowns right there, just to die a bit more slowly to give my team a bit more time. Of course, you could always argue if that is worth it because there was absolutely no kill potential with the healer in the back, but I did, you know, um, get three people interested in me, which is always nice. Now. Um, one thing you can do with the engineer is, of course, you could cleave, you know, and I somehow thought that rollbang was still viable. It's not viable anymore, but I still tried to rollbang roll bang him right here. Now, this is a unfortunate situation right here because there is nothing really I can do against all of the damage coming in right here. I cannot kick him away. I cannot disable him because I have cooldowns right now, and now I kick him away, but it's just too late because um, a hydraulic override is quite okay, I have to say. Like, hydraulic override is a bit too strong, and that is a nice four-quarter door right in my face, something I very much dislike. Now, um, as I was saying, yeah, this spec is the least viable of the three in, in all of these trees. Like, Marksman is at the moment the strongest, but I generally dislike the playstyle of it, oh, in, even though it is very strong. Uh, lethality, of course, is possible, not the best spec, but you can play it. And then in the middle of that you have Engineer. Engineer has, you know, quite a good amount of burst, of course they get the tap right here. Very sad, um, very you know short uh, duration left on that uh, on that interrupt there, but uh, didn't get that off. So as I was saying, um, the least viable and the least one v one potential, at least against good players, is the uh, engineer sniper because of the changes to the uh, you know probe stun. You know, 
you have to activate the other ability while they are standing in the probe and they have about a second to move out and generally every player will move out of that probe which is a bit unfortunate but you know I'm not going to complain about that because you can kind of work around it um, also the burst of, of the of the probe stun ability is quite high so I generally use it more as a damage tool and less as a stun tool but of course he now is lacking that uh, very nice stun he previously had which is always a bit sad but uh, such is the way of things. Now here, uh, second round of the Marauder, we're going to see quite a lot of him. He, I don't know, somehow in his mind he just wants to kill me, but uh, he's never able to do so because snipers, even though, you know, in the least viable spec, are still stronger than Marauders, quite generally. Nothing you can do against that. Now of course interrupt him and hard stun him right here, he immediately breaks that because he does not want to die but I of course kill him anyway with the 2 second stun right there and of course explosive probe comes in and that is the end of that. Now we have one uh, sorcerer left and one power tech left, the power tech is of course playing, I mean not, not of course, he is playing uh, the, the uh, pyro tech spec which is quite bad but uh, he's doing that anyway. Now. This guy tries, you know, really hard to to get his, his stuff going right there. So I'm just switching over, uh, you know, moving all of all, all of that uh, health, extra health he gained because he's got his quota overload. I want him at exactly, you know, 40% health. Don't want him any any higher than that. And now I'm like, you know what, blind, just you know, waiting for the energy region. He breaks that because he doesn't want to die. But of course, he does die anyway. Very shortly after that. Now, as you, have main, as you may have noticed, um, there's no door timer here, so he just immediately respawns and uh, wants to kill me again. And I'm like, mm, I don't know, I want, I want that second round, really, I really, really want that. So I just hard stun him right here. And, uh, yeah, once more, he just gets 1v1 because now he hasn't got his uh, overload anymore. So now I'm, now I'm regening and I'm looking up there. What is he doing? Is he coming down here? Do we want a third round? Can we do it? Can we do it a third time? Can we, can we kill the same guy a third time? Can we really, really, really demotivate him right here? Now he flamethrowers over here and after that he will use his uh, other, other stuff as I you know, generally stun him. Now I try to avoid his damage by rolling over here and his death from above completely misses. And I'm like, mm, I did it a third time. Oops, I've did it again. That is three times. I think that is quite humiliating. But that, my friends, is the exact reason why you do not play Pyrotech. And now I, of course, you know, make my escape by blinding him because I don't want to give him the satisfaction of actually killing him, killing me after the fourth time, uh, you know, attacking me only once. So I'm just going over here and uh, doing some more damage and of course you can see that it's him, it's him again, he wants his second round but I'm like no, I'm not gonna have that get his nice uh, nade right there so he gets stunned and I'm just kiting him back here because I don't want to die against him but look at his relentlessness, he just mm, he has it, he has it out for me, he wants that oh my god all of that pain I have inflicted on him finally pays off and I'm like sorry bro not gonna die to you today. Not giving him the satisfaction. Always very, very uh, interesting to do against opponents. They hate you if you do that. So <clears throat> now we're on the attacker round. So this should be, you know, quite the easy feat because um, I don't know. Generally, they only got one door and one bridge, and they got that quite late. So I, I generally expect this to be. Um, not that big of a deal so and um, also the enemies there aren't that high of you know level of play got a healer that you know does you know some mediocre things to survive we've got you know two melees who don't know what they're doing namely the marauder and that uh, power tech right there who's for some reason plays pyro which doesn't work anymore pyro got nerfed this is the reason why you can 1v1 him three times consecutively it's Generally, of course, you know, you know, if the player isn't good, but also that spec is nerfed. It, it seriously got nerfed. It was too strong in PvE, and then they just removed everything that was good about him in the first place, and that was that with the spec. So that's over. Don't play that anymore. Same thing as the lethality operative. Oh, I said it again, fueling the controversy. 
get don't get on my don't get on my back right there. Now, um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I'm just dealing damage here and there. Uh, here's the juggernaut who, of course, reflects me, but I'm like, you know, don't really care about that reflect because it's not the damage. I just wanted to get the uh, probe explosions. And um, something to note: even though the damage is reflected. Um, he does die, really nice there. Uh, even though the damage does get reflected, you still um, uh, get the uh, little clut uh, cluster bombs, cluster bombs, yeah, cluster bombs, cluster bombs. You still get the cluster bombs off. And that's what I was trying to do right there. So I did get damage through his reflect, which is the general uh, idea I had right there. Of course, two power attacks here. One of them on advanced prototype is a bit too strong for me, so I just peace out, get over here. And uh, of course, once more, you know get the healing relic right here and now I'm ready to have that nice 1v1. Now if he of course stuns me I just tank that because I don't really feel the need to do anything against that. Now I just half stun him and chain stun him after that one with the uh, uh, probe stun and uh, yeah, of course uh, completely shit on him, roll over him and then I'm, I'm like mm, bro you're dead. I was kind of thinking where did he go because I you know he went in this and I'm like uh, I'm not too sure where he went. So I'm kind of you know on the watch for him right now. Uh, I know he's around here somewhere, I haven't seen him going through the doors, so I'm just waiting for him. And here he is! Like clockwork. So, kicking him away of course, and the uh, second explosive probe does the charm. Nice 8k execute while jumping around him, just to do a bit more of the troll thing, you know. And he does die, so nothing really to be had right there. I think he, you know, uh, got some HP back by uh, regenerating um, a bit off screen right there where I couldn't see him, but um, yeah, it was it was futile. Ultimately, it was futile because he died anyway. Now here you can see the good power tech. It's the AP power tech. He did quite a lot of damage and he did burst me once or twice in this game, so he can he can play quite well and he does survive quite long, even though he's playing against five people. Unfortunately for them, they did not interrupt that tap, and of course that thing goes through. Now, I, really f I thought we already won at this point, but, um, you know, just to, um, you know, fasten this game up. Oh my god, look at him, look, he tried to put, oh my god! Okay, so you could see him right there, he, he did try to pull me over there, but I just blinded him preemptively and kicked him down. That has to hurt. Now, once more, the Marauder, oh my god, shit on him, rolled over all over him, and he has to once more go invis, you know, he has to use that invis like a vanish, like, ah, it's painful, it is really painful, so I'm, I'm expecting him to go over to the health relic, so I just preemptively put a orbital strike over there, but, uh, I don't know, he's not there, I don't know where he, where he, where he went, where he, where he, you know, uh, so I just go over here and take the health relic myself. So this is once more the power tech and uh, the second power tech is here as well. So this is looking terribly bad for me right now. Again, I still do not want to give him the satisfaction so I do kill him before I get killed by the Marauder and by the good power tech. Now rolling over here defensively of course, uh, resisting the um, damage there and there's nothing I can do right now because I've already got dots on him and I cannot possibly do anything against that because you know I didn't even want to kick him down there but he had the hydraulic overrides and there was nothing left to do for me. Maybe I could have blinded and waited for the hydraulic overrides to run out. That would have been the better play but I um I already dotted him. You know sometimes I'm in an automatic mode where I just uh, put abilities on enemies. And um yeah, I should have blinded him there. Anyway, this is the end of the game. We did tap that. It was quite a trolly thing to do. Did one million damage. My name's Andrelic. You've watched the PvP, and as always, have a good one. Oh my god!